Hey, how you doing there again, folks? You can, of course, Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. Yes, see you, folks, sampler video series of videos I'm going to do for the while. over there, trap food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'll let you know all you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, you know, sometimes I'm in my truck, sometimes I'm in my back room at the house. You never know where I'm going to pop up. It's, it's most likely those two places. So far, it's just been those two places, I think. But... Whilst I'm doing so, I'm also wearing a cool shirt. Folks, when I wear a cool shirt, I like to highlight the shirt. What cool shirt am I wearing? Boom! Boot. It's hard to see. Ginger shirt. The hell is Ginger? Ginger is a band. It's not surprising. I wear a lot of band shirts. Uh, they're a metal band out of the Ukraine. I've been a huge fan of these guys. I'm going to be a little bit hipsterish about it, okay? I was into them way before everybody else. Most people went over there. Things kind of exploded when they had the music video for Pisces. It's a great song, by the way. Not my favorite, but it's a really good one. But uh, that's when, you know, you had, like, lots of reaction channels and stuff. And, and mind you, they'd been building up till then, before then. You know, I'm not saying that was it. But that was, like, when things really started to amp up, I feel. And, uh, man, I was... First time I ever saw one of their music videos was Exposed as Liar. And instantly I was like, yes, I love these guys. So, anyway. Ginger aside, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well... We're doing boom. The hell is this, folks? This is Grape Valley Alligator Ice. It's a frozen beverage. I got it from at a gas station that's right outside where I'm parked. Um, it's it's a grape frozen beverage. I love for frozen beverages far too much. Far too much. Something about it. It it just makes everything better. It just does. If I could have frozen hot coffee or frozen hot chocolate. That's what I meant to say. Because you can get frozen coffee, obviously. Uh, I would be all for it. I saw this, and I was like, I've never heard of this. It looks delicious. They had two flavors. They had grape and strawberry. I thought about getting both, but I was like, eh, I don't need both right now. I'm just going to get one. That one had to be grape. Why did it have to be grape? Because, folks, who loves grape soda? Brandon loves grape soda. Kel loves orange soda. And I love orange soda, too. I really love pineapple soda. But I really like grape soda. So... I decided to go over there, give this a shot, and to go over there and try one of my reviews. Plus, it's got an adorable alligator. Look, he's got sunglasses and a hat and a drink. Maybe one of his own drinks. He's not going to hurt nobody. Let's try a thing. Okay. It's kind of like drinking a snow cone. Um, it's not like a slushy or a slurpy, where, you know, with those, it's blended very finely. It's, you know, almost has like a, like an almost like a foamish consistency. This is definitely like individual ice, hence alligator ice. I can dig that. I'm sure I've had drinks like this in the past. Uh, but I could not tell you what they were called, nor do I think I've had them for a long time. But the, the texture and the, the taste sensation is definitely getting the, uh, the memory going. But yeah, it, it feels like I'm drinking a snow cone, basically. And that's not a bad thing. Plus, unlike with real snow cones, where all the flavor ends up at the bottom, all the stuff up top is kind of, you know... It's like, well, no, the top is usually okay. The middle is a little bit so-so, and then the bottom, it all condenses into one super flavor. This is just all flavor. Now, I have to talk about the flavor. I'll be honest with you, it is not the grapeiest thing I've ever had. I'm not saying there's no grapeness to it, but I personally, when I want a grape drink... I want some real punchiness to it. You know, I want it to be grape. This isn't that. It almost feels more just berry-ish. I mean, I'll still give it grape. I will. But if you were to go over there and tell me it was berry, I wouldn't be super surprised. The only thing that kind of takes away from it being just straight berry is that typically berry drinks have a little bit of like a tartness this doesn't have that it's more mellow 
kind of like a grape. But again, it's not the grape that I would like. You know, again, if I'm going into this thinking grape, I want it to be grape grape. I also like it to be purple. I'm just going to be honest with you. But it's still a nice drink. It's not, it's not my favorite fr frozen beverage. That's for sure. But I will say, I could see this. Tom, I'm doing this, we're in the midst of fall. This would be a great drink on like a hot summer day. Way better than I feel like a slushy or a slurpee because it's for what it, it's ice and water, basically. You know, I mean, ice and liquid. Whereas, you know, the slurpee or slushy, obviously, like I said, it's got more of like a foamish kind of uh, texture to it. This feels more like just a straight beverage, whereas those are more kind of a frozen treat. But I do like it, it's good. It's not my favorite frozen drink of all time. To be honest, it's definitely not anywhere close to the upper echelon. But I like the fact that it's doing its own thing and that it's unique. I like that about it. Even if, like I said, I think I've had something similar to it in the past. I do like the fact that it's not like a Slurpee. It's not like a slushy. It's this, you know, partially ice, partially liquid thing. It's all blended up and stuff. It's good. I like it. I just wish, personally, it had more grape flavor. And, you know, just in general, I, I feel like it could personally have just a little bit more kick of flavor in general. Maybe the strawberry one. Maybe I'll do that one eventually. I don't know how often I'm going to be coming back to this particular gas station. But, yeah, alligator ice, it's, it's still going to get my recommendation because ultimately I do feel like, at least periodically... I would actually come back to get one of these. I could see myself being in the mood for one of these and wanting to grab one, especially if I was in the immediate area. I could see myself going over and being like, ooh, that's, you know, that's that one gas station that's got the alligator ice. Let me stop in and grab one. But by that same token, is it going to be, you know, a replacement for like a slushy or slurpee or something like that? No, those would still be my preferences, but this is like a nice... It's a nice option to have if I just want this specifically. It fills that niche that I didn't necessarily know that I needed in my life. Good on you, alligator ice. Not the best drink in the world, but you do a good job at what you're, what you're aiming for. Except on the grape flavor. You need more grape flavor. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of the year. And, folks, if you could go over there and have yourselves a true alligator ice tastic rest of your life i don't know if that's exactly the life that you'd want to live but it probably wouldn't be terrible i mean it's it's a, it's like a it's like a solid b minus life it's not awful but you can do better you and i both you know i'm just saying just saying maybe go for a slushy ice, slushy life or you know maybe a taco bell freeze life i'm just saying but if you end up with a uh alligator ice life it's still pretty good very final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity to the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You can try not to be an asshole. Not the easiest thing in the world to do, but that's why I put try at the beginning of it. That's very deliberate. Because I know that we're all going to fail in that some days. Okay, we're just, you're going to go over there, you're going to be, maybe you're having a bad day, or maybe you're having a good day and it turns bad, or maybe just you get hit with a situation all of a sudden. And you go over there, you let the, you know, you go over there, you drop trowel a little bit, you let the asshole out. But, folks, the key thing is not completely negating it, because it's part of human nature. It's to mitigate the level of assholeness. Hopefully, in doing so, we make that conscious decision, everything gets better for everybody else, just a little bit. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're going to go over there, maybe you're from, I would, I would have to assume this has to come from Florida, Right? Right? I don't know. Maybe I'll look it up later. Um, maybe you're from wherever Alligator Ice is from. Maybe you're going to watch this review and you're going to go over there and be like, hey, Alligator Ice Mike. Sure, why not? Uh, you know, I was watching this guy on YouTube and he was over there. He had a Ukrainian 
metal t-shirt on, which by the way, you know, conflict in Ukraine still ongoing. Much support to the Ukrainian people fighting, you know, valiantly to protect their homeland. Uh, well, maybe you're going to go over there and you'd be like, yeah, I saw this guy and he was like, you tried your drink. It's like, it's pretty good, but it needs more grape flavor. And Alligator Ice Mike's going to be over there and he's going to be like, I, my forefathers have been making Alligator Ice since the 1400s. And we know how to go over there and make our shit, damn it. And if that's the case, then good on you for keeping that tradition alive. I support you. Or conversely, you could go over there and do something that's not that. Uh, <laughs> you could go over there. What's a thing you could do? Well, we got fall coming up, right? You know, I mean, the weather's nice. I mean, for me, I like the weather. Um, leaves are changing, all that stuff. Just go over there and go out dip, uh, look for some pumpkins or go apple picking or some crap that people do in fall. Halloween's at the end of the month, so bye.